Hey guys, it's Paul. Um, we are back from New York. Um, Shannon is sending me out to run some errands real fast. Actually, I wanted to go run them, so I don't want you guys thinking that Shannon uh, is forcing me to go do something I don't want to do. I actually wanted to go do um, some errands. And that's kind of the division of labor that we have. Shannon handles a lot of the technical aspects of our channel in terms of video editing and uploading and that kind of stuff. And I handle a lot of the day-to-day -day errands. Um, and that's just something that works out well for us right now. Uh, Shannon would probably like to do a few more errands, so we may be changing that setup in the future. But anyway, we're back from New York. Um, as you can kind of see behind me, uh, it looks totally different here than it does in New York City. And uh, we're just kind of trying to get back in the swing of things. Um, it was kind of funny. We got back here and it was like 70 degrees when we got back. And then the day after we got back, it was like 80 degrees. And a lot of the trees are starting to bloom. Um, even though it's the middle of February, which is kind of funny and kind of is messing me up just because, um, actually you guys are probably watching this at the beginning, the beginning of March, but it's kind of messing me up because I, I feel like I'm developing some allergies to some of the pollen and stuff like that that's coming out. Um, so if I sound stuffed up or I sniff or something, that's what that's all about. So anyway, I have to run over to Walmart. Shannon really has a craving for grapes. So I want to try and get some of those. Um, hopefully those are in season and taste good. You never know with grapes. So uh, we're gonna hunt for some grapes. I also need really the reason, <laughs> the real reason I'm going out is not for grapes, um, even though Shannon wants those, but I really am looking for some Easter stuff uh, for our other channel. And I've been seeing them on some toy hunts that some people do, and I wanna see if I can find some of the stuff. So let's go see if we can find grapes and Easter stuff. All right, into the grocery section at Walmart. So this was something really funny. We moved out to North Carolina about 12 years ago, actually a little bit more than now. And in California where we lived, Walmarts did not have full grocery sections. So we were floored when like there was a full grocery store inside of Walmart, it was awesome. And our Walmarts have really stepped up their game in the past two years, uh, having much more fresh produce and stuff like that. So I really wanna give them a big hand um, hey, wow, avocados. That's a lot of avocados. So they're doing a great job at keeping a lot of fresh stuff, which is just really good and malicious. And um, actually, it's one of my favorite grocery stores to shop at now, <laughs> believe it or not. So let's see, uh, grapes. Grapes is what I was coming in here for. I'm very easily distracted, apparently. Let's find grapes. Oh, I want watermelons so bad, but watermelons aren't good right now. It's like really hit or miss in the winter time. Come on, grapes. Where are you, grapes? Oh, I also need potatoes for hash browns. Let's see. I'm not seeing grapes anywhere. Okay, I still haven't found grapes, but I found strawberries, and strawberries are coming into season. Let me, uh, let me take a look and see if these are any good. Give them a sniff here. Oh, they smell good. So I'm gonna pick up a pack or two of these. Um, 364 for looks like two pounds so we'll give those a try and see how they are wow i found the grapes they're hiding over here by this like little box of apples this is a really small section of grapes usually they have like half a row full of grapes um they're actually pretty expensive right now too about three dollars a pound i'm gonna try Ooh, those those seem pretty smushy i don't know that those are going to be any good usually i you know I always try one grape before I buy just to make sure they're sweet because um, I don't want to buy a whole thing and have it not be good. All right, the yellow ones aren't bad. They're not super sweet, but they're not bad. Since Shannon is craving them, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get them and we'll hope for the best. All right, I need some potatoes here. Um, I'm gonna make some hash browns. So let's see, I like using red potatoes for hash browns. Um, I think they have a nice earthiness, but I'm also gonna get a bag of russet potatoes just for baking, that'd be a nice quick snack. Um, throw in the microwave and make a baked potato. Let's see if I can find the red potatoes now. Uh, not on that side. People are behind me, so I'll go around the long way. This has actually turned into a larger grocery shopping trip than I intended it to be. Apples, more apples. These are little apples. All right, potatoes. Little tiny potatoes, bigger potatoes. 
There's red potatoes. Ruby sensation. Those are kind of small. Let's see. Gold potatoes, yellow potatoes, or red potatoes. Hey, these look good. They're actually a decent size, too. Usually the red potatoes I get are really small. You know, having to peel for a long time. All right, if you just saw me lean into the frame there and sniff these, that's something I've started doing because if you get a bad potato, it can spoil a bunch, and bad potatoes really, really stink bad. All right, white potatoes. I'm gonna get a white potato also. Let's see here. There we go, that bag looks good. That's a lot of potatoes. It's like 20 pounds of potatoes in my cart there. Okay, this, this section over here is just so pretty how bright and colorful it is. I'm gonna pick up a couple of pep green peppers because I think I'm gonna make some soup, some uh, tortilla soup. So I'm gonna pick up a green pepper. I'm gonna pick up, I'm gonna pick up some celery also. Actually, that's some wet celery. They have misters here that come on to keep everything nice and crisp and fresh. But man, that's like really wet. Those. I'm gonna get a couple of jalapenos also. There we go, those should be good. And I also wanna get one little bag of carrots. Um, or do I? No, I don't need carrots for the Mexican soup, so, or for the tortilla soup, so I'm gonna hold off on the carrots. Okay, so this cart right here is really bad. I actually shouldn't even be looking at it, um, just because I'm trying to eat a whole lot better. But this is the sale cart for like day old uh, bakery stuff. Oh um, man, let's see. Well, a sweet roll of a variety, apple, cheese, and strawberry. That's like fruit right there. Because it's apples and strawberry. It's fruit. There's day old donuts, muffins, cake, huge cookies. So. I'm going to walk away. I'm not going to buy any of this today, but it's really tough and because I love all this stuff and it's, I feel like it's a great price because it's on sale. And there's a big birthday cake. There's a special coffee creamer that Shannon likes, the Cafe Mocha by Coffee Mate. Um, and they don't have this all the time, although they've gotten a lot more in. So I'm going to pick up a couple of these just because I've learned to get them when I see them. And that way we're not out. <laughs> all right, here's some of the Easter stuff. This looks like a lot of the Easter candy. What I'm actually looking for is surprise eggs. Here's Cadbury eggs. Um, here's like some of the candy surprise eggs. Ooh, Laffy Taffy. Who will find the golden egg? I don't know. It'll be kind of fun. I'm looking for the surprise eggs with like toys inside, and I think everything that I'm seeing right here is candy. A lot of chocolate. Ooh, a lot of good chocolate too. Oh, hey, wow. Pez. Cute Pez. I like the Easter egg Pez. That's cute. Okay, hey, check these out. So you get a My Little Pony uh, figure, it looks like, and some jelly beans. Those are kind of cool. There's a Cars one. Paw Patrol. Shop, ooh, shop Um, I might pick up one or two of these. But I think what I'm looking for is going to be maybe up at the front of the store, hopefully. All right, so here's the Easter section up at the front of the store. Hey, wow. Gummy bear eggs. <laughs> Troll eggs. There's a lot of fun eggs if you want to get for your Easter basket. I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing the toy eggs yet. Oh, wow. hey! Oh, check that out, chocolate treasure. Shopkins chocolate treasure eggs. Huh. Okay, so I'm gonna get those. Those look cool, and it looks like they've got the emoji chocolate treasure eggs. So I'm gonna pick those up. Those weren't what I was looking for, but I'll get those. All right, so we're getting a little bit closer. Here's the Paw Patrol eggs. That's one of the things I came in for. Delectable eggs, I didn't even know were out, but I'll get some of those also. What I was really looking for was Shopkins Easter baskets. All right, so I struck out in the Easter section, but I always do this when I come to the store. I always forget something and have to go back to where I was. Uh, tell me if that ever happens to you. So I forgot to get this. Um, Drew and Shannon like using spreadable butter stuff. I like using butter sticks better. Uh, 
potato potato, I guess. Um, so I forgot to pick that up. And I also want to get a little sour cream thing because Shannon likes that on her baked potatoes. So I'm going to pick these up and then I'm going to go check out. Okay, so I'm going to show you my shopping cart real quick before I go to check out. So I ended up picking up a case of the Delectables surprise eggs and a case of the Paw Patrol surprise eggs for our toy channel. I got this My Little Pony with the figurine. I also picked up a few of these surprise cubes for Mario Brothers and for Shopkins. So I'm kind of excited about those. Um, I think I showed you guys the, the Choco Treasures of Shopkins and um, something else. I can't remember what. But I also found these Disney Wonder Balls. So it uh, looks like it's Mickey Mouse, Dory, Cars, and Toy Story. So I think that's going to be fun. What were the other Choco Surprise? Oh yeah, emojis. So I picked up like 12 of each of those. So those will be fun. So that's everything for the toy channel. As far as groceries, I showed you the produce, uh, the peppers, the celery, all the potatoes, the strawberries, the grapes. Um, I also picked up a thing of salsa and there's the sour cream and I got two butters, which we talked about. So I'm gonna go check out and then I'm gonna head home. This just happens to me all the time now. It's like I'm wandering around in the parking lot looking for my car. Here it is over here. But I don't know why I do this. I always forget where I parked. Hey guys, it's Shannon. You already know that. You hey know Shannon. who I am, right? Hi. Look how pretty your new shirt is. That's one of the shirts from New York. Yep, it is. With the little dinger dongers. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise known as string. Paul liked that name. <laughs> yes. Um, so I just got out of the shower. My hair's wet. Sorry about that. But we came outside to vlog for a minute because it's a beautiful day out here. It is. It's just a gorgeous day. I actually think I should edit videos out here because I'm like vitamin D deficient. So I need to be soaking up some sun out here. Shannon's not pale. I think. She's ivory and she's rocking it. Yes. Or, or what, what was that saying? I forgot. Um, I forget. I don't know. I'm in touch with my inner vampire. <laughs> I don't see the sun very often. Um, yeah, anyway, it's nice out here. So we just thought we'd come out here and talk. So coming back from Toy Fair was great. It was fun. Sorry we didn't finish that last vlog. We got really tired and forgot to finish. But we had a nice little surprise coming home. Yeah, so we've been telling you for the past <sighs> few weeks about our bathroom and just the ordeal that's been trying to get that finished up. That's mechanically the bathroom is back to working. Uh, here, yes. I'll show you guys me. So mechanically the bathroom is back to working. Like we can actually flush the toilet in there. I, I think I did that on the vlog. Um, never been so excited to flush a toilet before. <laughs> uh, bathroom, you know, bathtub works and everything, but. The bathroom it's still a mess. Be, yeah, still a mess because it has to be finished off. Like the towel bar has to be hung up. Um, some just little touch up stuff has to be done. Yep. But the mirror is not hung yet because they were like everything we ordered for that bathroom either came in wrong got or late. delayed <laughs> or came in broken and had yeah. to go back to the store and be replaced. It was Yay. just just funny. The way yes, it that out. toilet was the third toilet. That was the third. And the only reason why that toilet worked is because Paul went to Home Depot himself and picked it up and put it in the car instead of having it delivered. Yeah, and I opened that thing up and took it out in Home Depot. And sat on it. No, I didn't do that. <laughs> that would have been funny though. Yes. So, um, so anyway, so the toilet, the toilet, the bathroom, the bathroom is sort of kind of done. Basically, we're just waiting for some stuff to get finished Do you off. guys hear that noise? The street sweeper the street. is on the street. Shannon way, loves the street sweeper. I do. Way, 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 way over there on the other side of all those trees is another street and the street sweeper's over there sucking up everything. So, so the bathroom is pretty much done. We're waiting for it to be finished, but it's pretty much done. So that project is kind of on its way out and now we get to start a brand new one. Woohoo! Yeah. So we got home. Um, we had like two good days or so. We, we whatever. had two, two good days. It was nice. <laughs> and then like it just started feeling really hot in the house. Now the temperature was in the high 70s here in at the end in of February, February, which is crazy for us because normally February is very cold uh, where we live. Um, like the rest of the country, you know, it's like in, in the 30s, 40 degrees, but it was been, you know, pushing well, 80. Paul didn't see this, but the news, they did post a picture that said like February, whatever day it was last year versus February of this uh -huh. year. So February of that day last year, we were covered in ice. And this year it's yeah. like all the flowers. Let's see. We don't have any out here. All the trees are like blooming. And yeah. I mean, it's like spring. Yeah. It, I mean, it feels like spring. It's going to be 70 degrees today. Yeah. Well, anyway, so the upstairs of our house felt kind of hot overnight. Uh, Shannon and I both woke up sweating and <laughs> Shannon went and she looked at the thermostat and it was like it's it's like five degrees hotter than it should be yep. here um so i end up looking at it in the morning and realize that we had a problem with our air conditioner yep 
came outside, the air conditioner condenser coil was covered in ice, um, which I actually I apprenticed for one Let's summer show the with a heating and air. Bad, Listen, bad culprit down there. That's not the one. Oh, that's that a one's good, good. One. Yeah, the one okay, around the, the corner. Okay, the one around the corner is the, the bad corners, one. The bad one. <laughs> so I actually apprenticed with a heating and air guy for one summer, and I learned that I am not mechanically inclined at all. So, uh, Tim, I really appreciate the opportunity, but sorry it didn't work out. <laughs> it was like 12 years ago. We're all over it by now. But <laughs> So I know a few things. I know just enough to know how to really break something really good. So I call the professionals in. So we've got a repair guy on his way over to tell us what we need to do to fix that. So <laughs> and we're, repairs. we're really afraid that we're going to have to replace the whole system because our house is what, almost 13 years old now? It is. Well, yeah, it's almost 13 years old right now. I mean, that heating and air system probably is 13 years old. Um, and basically everything the builder did on this house is wrong yeah it was we've either, had nothing but problems everything was installed with builder grade material which was just really cheap um or they didn't do it right and they installed a lot of it wrong the heating and air system has actually kind of been the bright spot in the house yeah. because that's actually worked fairly well and reliably and but we are at that lifespan of a heating and air system where it you know it wouldn't be a big surprise if we've just got to replace it and it gets a lot of use out here because you know it's always it's, it's humid it's always it's going yeah yeah you know i mean we we run the air I'd say a good seven months out of the year. We run the heat probably two or three months. Well, and prior to Paul being home, um, here, you can film me if you want. Icky. Prior to him being <laughs> home, <laughs> I was always home because I homeschooled our kids. Yeah. So a lot of people will turn the thermostat down and then, you know, while they're at work all day, it's just not running as hard, but we were home all the time. So it was running all the time. So when it's a hundred and... 20 million degrees out here in the summer it's running all the time so yeah. it gets its work out but so anyway hopefully we won't yeah. have to replace it yet. yeah so with all of our work that we do being upstairs in the house that upstairs yeah. can get quite warm so we really can't tolerate the, the air conditioning not working well so it was important that we get We're somebody wimps. out here we are <laughs> so anyway um so we have a heating and air guy coming out uh hopefully we get good news or, or if it's, even if it's bad news, as long as it can be fixed quickly, that'll be okay. Yeah. So anyway, that's uh, that's kind of what we're dealing with today. And yeah. just uh, wanted to update you and show you the gnome. The gnome. The gnome is adorable. The gnome is adorable. That was actually one of my Father's Day gifts a couple years Target. ago. I think. Target gnome. <laughs> a Target gnome. There we go. Thumbs up for the gnome. All right, guys. We'll talk to you in a little bit. See you later. I'm in the kitchen. Paul's making noise in the background because he's doing something. But that's what I'm doing. I'm making noise. <laughs> It's time to save the strawberries. So we have some strawberries here. They taste really good, but these ones, I can't even get this open. These ones look like they are on their way out. Let's see. Some of them are getting a little rough looking. Most of them look okay, but we're gonna cut up and have some strawberries as a snack so they don't go bad. Just so you guys know, those are the strawberries that I bought when I was at Walmart, but it's now been a couple days later. Oh. Yep, so you guys witnessed the buying of those strawberries. And now they need to be eaten because it's a couple days later and strawberries don't last that long. No, they don't. Okay, so it's actually the next morning and it kind of stinks <laughs> because the air conditioning people came out yesterday and unfortunately we're at the point where we're just really not going to be able to fix the unit that we have. So we have two units. We have a two-story house. We have one unit that covers the downstairs, one that covers the upstairs. The downstairs one, thankfully, is okay hopefully another year or two something like that the upstairs one is just not gonna make it so we got a quote this morning and it's scary <laughs> it's really scary paul's paul's over there now paul how much was the quote um to replace it, it plus plus it do better insulation. So we're actually upgrading our insulation yeah. and the unit we get is going to be a lot better than the one we currently have. Um, but it's, it's... We could buy a new car. Well, it's not quite that uh, bad. Well... It, it's uh, not that bad. Maybe a new smart car. I don't yeah. know how much they are. Uh, smart cars are fairly are expensive. expensive? Yeah, pretty, okay. So it's, it's more than $9,000. <laughs> more than $9,000. <laughs> yeah. So we have somebody else coming out this afternoon to give us another give us quote. A second opinion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, second opinion, another quote. Hopefully it's less money. We'll see. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, we will keep you updated on that. We're going to go ahead and end this vlog for now, and then we'll just pick up in the next vlog with the 
the rest of our That's daily sad, struggle. Sad tale. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. We really appreciate you supporting our new channel, and we will see you in the next vlog, guys. See you later.